Well, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to the Everyday Until 8 a.m. Experience. This is your 8 a.m. Experience. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Y'all know how to come in with your worship, with your praise. Let's go. Good morning. Make sure you let us know what city and state that you're watching from. Let's go this morning. Come on, let's go. Make sure you pull out your journals, tribe. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be great this morning. Got something very special for you. Good morning, Commission. Good morning, y'all. Listen, make sure that if you can get on YouTube, that you get on YouTube. Go to YouTube. All right, YouTube and Facebook is where we are. All of our previous EDUs are on the YouTube. Just go to Amazing Church and subscribe. You'll see us. It should be familiar. Uh, all of our content is there uh, so that you can have access, immediate access. Uh, some of you may want to do devotion uh, midday. Some of you may want to do devotion uh, more than more than once a day. Uh, and, uh, and it's good to do so. So uh, we have the information there for you to do it. That's on our YouTube. So please go there and subscribe. Listen, if you have a prayer request, please place it in the comment section. We call that the wall, uh, whether you're on YouTube or whether you're on Facebook. Put that in the comment section and someone uh, will come and comb through those comments. And we'll pray for your prayer request. If you feel your prayer request is a little bit more sensitive in nature, do us a favor. Uh, click on the link that is in either one of those and or go to our website amazingchurch.com and click on the connect section, connect tab and the prayer request form will drop down. Fill that form out in entirety uh, and then within 48 hours we'll pray for your prayer request. If it requires faith-filled instructions, uh, then I myself or someone from the team, uh, one of the pastors, one of the leaders, uh, one of our prayer evangelist leaders will uh, pray for your prayer request and give you faith-filled instructions, right? Let's go this morning. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share. If you believe in somebody that you need to tag that needs to get this later on, that may not be here, go ahead and tag them so they can get it later on, all right? I love you. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like we're getting there. Looks like we're getting there. Excited about it. Glad that y'all joined this morning. Thank y'all so much. Good morning. Come on, McKinney. Good morning, everybody. From wherever you are, from wherever you're from. Come on. Good morning, Sapphire. Good morning, all. Good morning, Keisha. It is a good morning, y'all. It's a good morning. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, I know that you're here with us in some kind of way. Thank you so much for uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I'm so, so glad that you're here every morning. Uh, we believe that breakthrough is on the other side of consistency. We're doing it. We believe that if you apply God's word today, you'll live life a better way. Applying the word every day. Applying the word every day. Either you try. Hey, good morning, Nathan. Uh, hear what I'm saying. Adding an application to your life to the word of God is not something that I see people doing. Uh, I see people having the opportunity or the choice, but we're giving you an application. I mean, every one of our leaders give you an application every day so that you'll be able to function in the timeless principle found in the word of God so that your life can be better. 
and it will be incrementally better. God says that he does things little by little. There are times where you see uh, uh, suddenly, that's over time, something built up and then it happens. There is uh, immediately, there are things that, that happen and they happen. Listen, the world's framing, the way the world was framed, God spoke it, but the Holy Spirit then came and over time brought that which was chaotic into order. So even in, in these things, we see that God takes things over time. Uh, God is not encapsulated in time. He is out of time. We're in Kronos. Uh, he is in control of Kronos. All right. So uh, this says to us that we, we, we have to be able to understand that patience is a partner of faith. My faith is going to work, but patience is a partner of faith. And I have to understand or I receive uh, that God is still working on my case. God is working on my behalf. God is, is causing things to work together for good for me, for my family, for all things. Things I don't understand, things I don't like, pain that comes in my life, um, atrocities, uh, calamities world things that happen, pandemics, uh, natural disasters. See, all of the things that we want to uh, push away as if God is not in control would actually limit God's authority and power as if there was something that he did not see, something that he could not uh, uh, handle, uh, something overpowered him. He was somewhere else doing something and, and forgot. No, no, God is, God is a, a, he's the authority. He is authority. He is in control. He knows what's happening in everybody's lives. But for God, he sees it differently than we do. All of it works together. So the good things are God. The things that are not so good are God. The things that we understand are God. The things that we don't understand are God. God is in it all. And when you have a resolve, a resolute uh, resolve that God is whatever you want it to be, dot, dot, dot. God is understanding that righteousness and order is his way. Chaos and calamity is out of order. That's not God's way. So when I go against God's way, I commit evil, evil acts against his commandments, evil act against his, his ways, evil acts against what his word says. His will is found in his word. I want to do the will of God, the one who sent me. I want to please him. His will is found in his word. And his word says that we are to do good, good unto each other. Are we doing good unto each other in all that we do? Are we showing the love uh, of God to each other? And so every day we give you the word of God so that you can apply it and do good for your neighbor, do good in your life, to exercise what the word says for us to do, to even have revelation and epiphany on how we can live life a better way. And so every day we give you inspiration. That's a scripture. That's a verse and or a passage out of this word that we believe so much in. And then we give you explanation for that, for that verse, for that scripture, for that passage. And then we give you an application. That application is so that you will be able to walk it out. And little by little, incrementally, you will see your life get better and better. Come on, somebody, if you appreciate that, let's give God glory for it. Let's give him praise for it as we get prepared this morning. Come on. Good morning. Let's go. Get your more, get your morning water in. Get your water in. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So your inspiration this morning is coming out of Psalm. We're gonna do a series on Psalm today. A series on Psalm this week, rather. Work it, okay? Uh, psalm. Now this is a Psalm uh, that I uh, that is not necessarily familiar, but the words are. All right, so this psalm is Psalm 32. This is Psalm 32. You ready? Psalm 32, and we're going to do verse number 11. Psalm 32, and verse number 11, it says, be, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. All right, so that's Psalm, Psalm 32, 32 and 11. All right, I'm going to read it in another translation. Just want to uh, give you a here. This is what it says. In the message translation, it says, celebrate God, sing together, everyone, all you honest hearts, raise the roof, 
Come on. <laughs> that's that's the message translation, right? All right, so let's take a look at and see it uh, here. Uh, in one of my, my favorite translations, the, the New Living translation, uh, it is a it says it this way, okay? It says, um, verse 11, it says, so rejoice. It says, so rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him, shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure, okay? So now let's go take a look at this. And let's look at the Greek translation of what was spoken, or rather the Hebrew translation uh, of what was spoken here in this psalm. It says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice. So be glad. That's the first thing that's said. Be glad is an indication that you, now listen, you heard what I just said about God and him being there. Now, this is you. You're in control. You are in control of your emotions. Things happen, but you're in control of your emotions. Uh, you are in control of what happens in your life. Things do happen to you, but how you handle what happened to you is your, your control. That's, that's, that's easy said, uh, Pastor D, but I want you to know that it is easy said, but the work that needs to be done uh, is, is difficult. So I don't want to, I don't want to throw that uh, out there as if I don't have an understanding. It's going to require courage. Uh, your your ability to do something that may frighten you in the in the face of the pain and the discomfort that that comes with it. You're going to have to have this courageous faith, all right? That I've been that I've been teaching. But be glad. Before we go further, be glad means that you're in control. Be glad. So I have a choice whether to be glad, to be sad, to be mad, uh, to be despondent. Be glad. You do have a choice in the matter. Do not allow anything, anyone, any study, any statistic to tell you that you're not in control. You are in control. Be glad, he says. So be glad what? How? Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. So in the Lord means that in the will of God, in the word of God, Andre Gibson, this in the Lord is not an option uh, for us that say we are believers of the way. Jesus is the way, all right? And so we are followers of the way. Jesus is the way. We're followers of the way because we are believers in the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus came and died for us, rose again and sits on the right hand of the Father. will soon return for us and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we who remain shall rise with it. Now, we may be some of the ones that are already asleep, all right? So uh, that's the gospel. That's the gospel in a nutshell. Uh, the whole book of the, the, that's the Bible. The gospel is Jesus is the son of God that he came born of a virgin Mary, died for us, uh, rose again, sits on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us, and will come back for us soon. <laughs> no man knows the day nor the hour when he shall come, when he will return. Uh, he will return on riding on a horse, all right? He will turn riding and imprinted, tattooed on his thigh, will be king of kings. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. What a powerful, powerful uh, thought. But it says, be glad in the Lord. So in the will of God, and he says, while you're in the will, it says, and rejoice. This word rejoice, again, is like be glad. Rejoice is saying that you are in control to choose to have joy. Rejoice, to take action. To be specific, uh, it says this. Uh, understand that your joy, your happiness is your choice. And when we are specific, it says do it in the Lord or take action to show confidence, to show confident joy in the Lord. To be specific, it means to take action, that's what it's saying, take an action and this confident joy in the Lord is to rejoice. The word rejoice means to spin around, to dance, to spin around and to dance. So it says, uh, be glad, take this choice in the Lord, choose to be happy and full of joy, dance, spin around, uh, about your confidence in the Lord. So I have a confidence in the Lord. I have a confidence in his will. Is this blessing anybody this morning? I have a confidence in his way that it's going to work for me. It's going to work out uh, for me. He says, rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, you that obey his commands, you that you that are doing good, you that are serving uh, the kingdom of God, expanding the kingdom of God, fellowshipping in tribes, vibing with your tribe with like-minded believers. It's our choice of ours. 
We can choose. We, are, we can choose. Many things happen to us, but we choose to rejoice. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to dance and spin around. That's what it said. All right. I choose to. All right. It says and shout for joy. This and shout for joy, or is it express fully your internal? So when I shout, shout is coming from from out of me, and so I see that as uh, something that is within you, that's on the inside of you. And you have to get it out. So this shout for joy, this is fully expressed, this internal excitement that you have about your confident joy in the Lord, in his will, in fulfilling and, and obeying his will and his commandments. Come on. All you are upright. All who you are, the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. I, I hear that, Bertha. I will rejoice and be glad. Come on, y'all. I choose. I see that, Missy. I choose to rejoice. There it is. Come on, y'all. I get it. Come on. That's how you do it. You choose to rejoice. Uh, it's it's a matter of your own will. You you are in control of your will. So choose to rejoice in the Lord. You who obey the Lord. You who are the righteousness of Jesus. You said yes to Jesus, and so you choose to rejoice. So the motivation, the motivation to to bring it all together. To bring it clearly. Look, that's it, Sapphire. Shout means to express internal excitement that you have about the confident joy in the Lord and what he will do. That's exactly what it is. I choose. I choose. Come on, y'all. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice to be happy. It's my choice. My stuff can't make me happy. I got to choose happiness. I, I, I can't I can't wait to get to here and to be, I have to have this confidence in God and regardless of what happens around me, regardless of who does what around me, regardless of the personalities, I'm in control of my emotions. Nobody else is. I can't put it on anybody else. I can't make it someone else's responsibility. I can't even fault someone else because of what they did to me or how they make me feel to determine whether or not I'm going to be happy or rejoice in the Lord. Or if I'm going to be happy or rejoice here in the earth, I'm not going to give someone else that kind of control over my life. I'm not going to give a circumstance that kind of control over my life. If Jesus died so that I might have life and have it more abundantly to the full, to the overflow, uh, then that means that Jesus, I got to believe you more than I believe the emotion. Although the emotion is as accurate in giving me the assessment of what's going on, I still have to have, make a conscious choice. I, I could choose to to wallow and and relish in the moment. What makes you want to stay in that moment so long anyway? I can't seem to get over it. I understand you got to start talking to yourself. If Jesus talked to trees and God spoke to the earth and Adam called animals what they were, then you have the authority to speak to your life and say what it's going to be. I'm not going to be here. That's right, uh, Keisha. This too shall pass. Come on, whatever it is, whatever it is. All right, so, so this is what it says, choose to be happy and full of joy. Dance, spin around about your confidence in the Lord. Those of you who obey his commands can express your internal pleasure and excitement. I'll say it again. Choose to be happy and full of joy. Dance, spin around about your confidence in the Lord. Those of you who obey his commands and uh, can express your internal pleasure and excitement. So I need somebody to say today. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't wait for ready because I knew you wasn't ready today. Too many of us are not ready. Too many of us, too many of us give the right to our emotional health, our emotional well-being, our emotional wealth. We give that over to previous pains that have happened in our lives, people that impact our, our lives, people that have done things wrong to us, the devil's influence. We give credit to that. And we rock out our lives in that manner. And that's not the word of God. That's not even being a believer. Then say stuff don't happen that takes your breath away in pain and hurt. And I ain't saying that. I'm saying that you're you're you gotta choose. You gotta choose. Well, this keeps happening to me. Change your confession. Change your confession. Here's one for you today. I choose to rejoice. <laughs> Today is the day that the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice. Come on, y'all. Come on. Choose to be happy and full of joy. Dance. Spin around about your confidence in the Lord. Those of you who obey his command and can you can express your internal pleasure and excitement. So today, here's your application. Right. I choose to rejoice. Then 
tell two people that you don't know choose to rejoice here's your here's your application right i choose to rejoice tell two people that you don't know choose to rejoice now tag me in it today tag, tag at Derek golden in there i don't know it's Derek golden or Derek a golden some somebody i tell y'all tag me today because i want you to do it socially all right uh, i want you to do it uh, digitally uh, i want you to do it today write it down uh, show it in your journal okay show it i have i have mine written down here i already wrote the application i'm sharing it with you i'm going to talk to two people today that i don't know uh, through a mask in some place that i go to and i'm going to tell them choose to rejoice let me say this to you when you do that you don't know what god is going to do in the earth they may they may pass it along they may uh, stop and weep they may cry they may ask you to pray for them right there but take a moment step outside of you and your preferences so that you can love uh, as God desires. Today, write down, I choose to rejoice and then tell two people that you don't know, choose to rejoice. Say it that way, tell them, choose to rejoice. <laughs> However you're gonna say it, all right? So that's your inspiration this morning coming out of Psalm 32 and verse number 11. Uh, that's, that's your motivation and you got your application, write it and then tell two people, all right? Come on, somebody give God praise for it this morning. Come on, send up the hearts, especially for those that are new this morning. Let them know, okay? Let them know, y'all. Let them know this morning. Come on, glory to God. Let's begin to praise God. Let's begin to worship him. Let me pray for you this morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Come on, those of you that just got in, you'll have to go back and listen to it. Those of you that are watching the rebroadcast, uh, thank you for watching, getting up to this point. Now let's pray for you. Father, we thank you so much for all that you're doing. We thank you for all that you've done. You are the great God. You are the most, most high God. You're the one who's concerned about us. You, God, move things around for us. You, God, orchestrate all that is happening in the earth. We appreciate you and we love you. We honor you, God, and we need you. In this morning, God, we who are your righteous ones, we love you and we desire, God, to see uh, the best in the earth, the best in the world, the best in people. God, you see the best in us. You chose us, God, even though we know the worst of us, we know that you know it as well. And so our great God, our great God who loves us, who cares for us, our great God who knows us, you great God, you Olam, you mighty one, you God, the one who sees all and knows all. You who know us, we bless your name this morning. We look forward, God, to getting to the place where we're at on every morning. And God, even in the times of our lives that seem the most difficult, just like you're here, and we look forward to seeing you in this moment this morning. We know in the tough times we can look forward and know that you will be with us there as well. And so, God, we glorify you this morning. We make you bigger. We magnify you. Oh, majestic God that you are. We thank you, Lord God, because of your care and concern for us. We know, God, that you are looking and you're watching. You're, you're God, you're going to cause us to prevail, to overcome, to have authority, to walk in the earth. You've given it to us. And God, not just authority over everything that creepeth in the earth, but God, you've given us authority as believers, as the righteousness in Christ Jesus, to even speak to situations in our own personal lives. In a day and time, God, where, where difficult things seem, God, to have rule and dominion, we know that your word says that for us to cheer up, to have courage, God, to take heart, that in this life, God, there are, there are many troubles, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Uh, a man's days are filled with trouble. God, but you said that you have overcome and overcome, God, the world, and we, God, we overcome even by our faith. So this morning, God, we use our faith. By faith, we choose to rejoice, regardless of our circumstances, regardless of our issues, regardless of our situations. We choose to rejoice because, God, the word says that today is your day. We bless you this morning. God, you made us the way that you made us. You created us the way that you created us. You put us in positions and situations, and, God, you felt that we had 
had, you knew that we had, you chose, you provided, you gave us what we needed to be able to handle and to overcome, not just to endure God and to be God's sad saps for the rest of our lives, not to just endure God and then to allow God those things to rule our lives. But God, you, Father, are in control. You have an authority and you value us and you saw us and you knew, God, that we could endure and that we would overcome and then use, God, our pain, God, to push forth and to use our pain, God, to use the things, the problems, the issues, the, the God, the circumstances, hallelujah, the brokenness, the bankruptcies, God, the pain, God, the rape, God, the attack, God, the death and the murder, the attack on us, God, the loss of hair, God, the, the, the disease, God, the cancer, God, every evil and every wicked thing will have no authority and get no glory over you, God, working everything together for my good, working the things together that will work out for us. So God, if in the evil things that happen, you're in control, then God, we choose to rejoice and believe that all things not just work together so that I can be an overcomer, but God, that I can walk in the blessings, blessings, riches, and blessings shall be at our door. Nothing by any means shall be able to harm us. God, you cause us to have the one hundred fold blessing. Nothing we shall lose for the sake of the gospel that you will not return to us, God, a hundredfold. You're going to call somebody to rise up with their skill, their talent, and their ability, their resources, their know-how, their network, and their influence to help me in my situation, to help me in my circumstances, to accomplish the things that you call for me to do. I thank you, Lord God, that all things, every single thing, all things, every single thing, all things, get this in your spirit. All things are working together for my good. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God be true and everything else be a liar. Let us worship God. Let us worship God. Let us worship in the spirit of truth, in the spirit of holiness. God, you are in it all and we give you glory for it. Come on, y'all. God, you're in it all. We give you glory for it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. If there's any time in any area where we missed it, if there's any time, if there's any area, God, where there's sin that's resident, if there's any time, God, in any area, God, where we brought reproach upon the kingdom because we glorified the pain over the deliverer of the pain. God, in the name of Jesus, this day, we ask that you forgive us. Forgive us for any time that we've glorified the pain. over the deliverer. In this moment, we thank you for forgiving us. In the name of Jesus, this morning, this morning, we ask that you would heal those that have this, this tender heart, this brokenness, this bondage to pain that so easily comes in and out of their lives. God, where they're having difficulty choosing, them. God, we ask that you would heal them and God, pull them back in. You know how you have the words, you have the you have the 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 the, the mechanisms, God, to make it happen. And we submit, we surrender. We believe, God, that you can save us from the pit of hell. We also believe that you can save us from the captivity of our pain, the bondage of our pain. Release us, heal us, and we'll give you glory for it. We thank you, Lord God, that you're doing this not just in our lives, but in the lives of everything that's connected to us and in the lives of those that are going through things right now. Jesus, we glorify you. <laughs> Jesus, we glorify you. Holy Spirit, come pour out the wisdom of God. God, give it to us. Lead and guide us, and we'll follow and we'll obey. We thank you for it. It's in the master's name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon coming King that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Amen. That's a blessing this morning. That's for someone this morning. That's for someone this morning. The Lord hadn't showed me anybody in particular, but that's for somebody this morning. God's got your best interest at heart. He knows you. He values you. He understands. He cares. And the same God that blessed you, where you couldn't wait to give the testimony, is the same God that's with you 
in the tough times of your lives. Even the things that, that God doesn't do, he's still in control. That is still <laughs> under God's purview. He's not looked past you. He's not overlooked you. All things, you have to have that mindset. And here's the a, here's a thing before I let you go. When you have the mindset to choose to rejoice and to understand that God is in control of all things, then no matter what comes your way, you have peace. You, you have peace. You're, you're, you know how to, you know how to chill in the tough moment. Things don't take over you and, and send you for a loop and a spin out of control. This, this rejoicing, this spinning and dancing is in control and it's directed. It is a physical action that one has to take when one chooses to rejoice. Remember, rejoice is to dance, to spin around. You have to take a physical action. What does that do? It makes you, your brain has to participate in giving signals and information to your body to do something. So that means you're occupying your brain to do something else. Now, the brain is real good. It can, it can do a lot of stuff. But giving it those actions and choosing to rejoice will require for you to dance and spin around to give God glory and praise at the same time. So you're preoccupying your mind, uh, not, not suppressing, not pushing away, but choosing to rejoice. Now, when you're rejoicing in the Lord, it fills your spirit. Now, your spirit is what, uh, what feeds your soul. And your soul, uh, the things in your soul causes your body to respond. So can you imagine that? You're filling your spirit with the joy of the Lord. <laughs> your soul is taking those things and, and breathing in deeply and handling them and releasing them. And then your body's responding. Glory to God. All right, y'all. That's it. Listen, thank you so much for joining. I know it. I, listen, I got to go. Thank you so much for joining, <laughs> joining us this morning. Uh, this has been your 8 a.m., your EDU 8 a.m. experience. Uh, I'm Derek Golden. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and if the Lord should say the same, Meet me back here tomorrow morning at the same time. That's 8 a.m. Central Standard Time for your morning dynamic devotion and prayer. It's been a blessing to be with you. I pray to see you and yours on tomorrow. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day.